Okay, I'm going to talk to you about boundary settings. Because Kathy Burroughs Mallon, my sister, has accused me of being very mean to people. Okay, so what is a boundary setting? Boundary setting happens when someone raises their consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. Kathy Burroughs Mallon, I've taught you about the scale of human consciousness. I told you, Jesus Christ is at 1,000 on the scale and so is the Buddha. Kathy Burroughs Mallon, let's see where you calibrate using muscle testing on the scale of human consciousness. Okay, once again, I take this middle finger and I crank it together and Kathy Burroughs Mallon, you've seen me do this a million times. Now this itching here, this is in, not, the people are using high technology, the same horrible, horrible that keeps me pinned down for, is it five years now? Five years I've been afflicted as a targeted person. You can look up targeted person on Google. Targeted person is me. Okay, and we're going to, because you need to come to a full and complete understanding that when I have to itch my nose, it's because it's like the microwave itching. This is a high-tech torture device, and you got to go and look at your fucking smartphone, you stupid dumb bunny. Look at your fucking phone. Now, imagine if it was the year 1990. This thing, if you, if, if you, if you got a cell phone from 2022 but you got it in 1990, you would be absolutely flipping out that this thing could work. This is something as advanced as something from the Star Trek in those days. So this is high tech that you use every day. And you're saying you can't imagine military technology that is also wireless? Kathy Burroughs Mountain, don't you know anything about military history at all? Zero? Do you know what countries were in the Axis? in World War II, and which countries were in the Allies in World War II. You are a school teacher. You teach children. And you don't know any of this stuff? I expect an answer, Kathy. And if you've got to go to Google to find out, I expect you to do, do what? To tell me the truth that you don't know and you had to go look. Because many times you've lied to me, Kathy Burroughs Mallon. You told me you had gone vegetarian. I want the truth. Did you eat Christmas turkey or not, turkey? Okay, we're going to do the calibrated level of consciousness of Kathy Burroughs Mallon using muscle testing. And I've done a number of these examples in the past few days, so you can look at other examples to get an idea of how it works. And you've seen me do this. You never want to ask me about it. Even though I've sent you this, you always ignore it. I don't know. We're going to go into it. Okay, where do you calibrate? Okay, on the scale of human consciousness. So here we go here. We take middle finger, and we go like this. Okay, and I'm going to hold it tight. I'm going to hold it tight, okay? Uh, okay, and what happens, according to uh, the metaph metaphysical theory, it's, it's not really metaphysical, it's, uh, sorry, it's demonic attack. Chiropractic, Dr. John Diamond is a chiropractor. He's well recognized among chiropractors for muscle testing. You know muscle testing, I've told it before today, and you know that they use it to test for allergies. So the, if I'm crazy, Kathy Burroughs Mallon, and you want to send me back to the psych ward because I do muscle testing, then you've got to round up every fucking... Uh, every fucking chiropractor in Thunder Bay and throw them into the pick, the psychiatric intensive care for being a chiropractor and using muscle testing. You're a fucking bitch, Kathy Burroughs Mallon. I'm fucking angry at you for your fucking um, um, unbelievable evil assault on your brother. You're a fucking alcoholic fucking whore because you are. That's what I consider somebody who does this fucking evil fucking shit to me fucking year after year after year. Year after year. Kicking me out of mom and dad's house and just, all your fucking and plotting against me you're an evil fucking bitch now let's go and show you how okay so here we go here we go thumb and finger method okay so what i hold in consciousness kathy burroughs mallon calibrates over 200 on the scale of human consciousness and then what i'm going to do is use is if it stays strong then you calibrate over 200 you don't it's weak so where do you calibrate uh under two under 200 yes 190 180. I get you at 180 on the scale of human consciousness. You are a negative entity according to the scale of human consciousness. You are a negative entity. You are a technically a devil. You are a devil, fuckface. You are a fucking devil and you'll be devil me every fucking day. That's why I scream at you, you fucking devil. If I saw Satan on the, uh, the fuck, I would surrender to Satan or Lucifer. But that's what you are. You are a fucking piece of fucking shit. Because you hold on to all your fucking lies and your lies, lies. Did you eat meat or not? Did you drink booze? 
Huh? 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 You lie to me all the time. You lie to all the time, and you make sure my life is a living hell. Because you do. Because you do, because you do, because you do. Anyways, I'm holding you to account, Kathy Burroughs Mallon, because you forced me to give all my fucking money to Susan. You forced me. You forced me out of the fucking house. That's what I did. I came back from the psychiatric ward where you put me because you can't stand me. That's what you did. You called the cops and you said, I'm nuts. <sighs> You're the one who is going to be locked up forever because that's what happens to devils. Devils go to hell. Guess where you're going? According to my muscle test, the way you're going, Kathy Burroughs Mallon, you will not have another lifetime as a human being. You're going to hell. And what are you going to do in hell? The fuck if I know. I've been working really hard to try and wake you up to the fact that you are a devil. Now, we're going to give you another example of somebody who was a devil and raised their consciousness and became a saint. And I've told you before, Fred Baker. Fred Baker, uh, when I muscle tested him, he came in. He came in at, um, let's see, Fred Baker, we have permission. I'm checking with God to see if we have permission. We have permission. I got a strong yes. Okay, Fred Baker came in. Uh, he was under 200 because I've done this before. Under 200, under 190, 180, 170, 160, 150, 140, 130, 120, uh, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. 40. He was at the level of 40, which is like a Komodo dragon if you look at Dr. Hawkins' book. I got a whole pile of them. I read a whole pile of spiritual information over the years. And when you got married, you went to Roman Catholic school. And you talked about it. And you came to me and talked about this wonderful teacher. What happened to all your Roman Catholic teachers? That guy was a great guy. You loved him. Why didn't you keep down the path of love? And love is not telling lies and living a fucking lie. And you do. You're not a good Catholic. What happens to bad Catholics? You join that church. What happens to bad Catholic is the book of Revelation and you go to the lake of fucking fire. That's where you're heading, Kathy, according to my muscle testing. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that you are, you are, you are an insane fuckface. I've told you about your problems and you're still fucking holding it against me. I've just shown you using muscle test that that's what you are. What else do you need to know, Kathy Burroughs Mallon? Why do I get upset again and again and again? At a high consciousness level, I'm setting a boundary. And my boundary is my business is my fucking business. And the way that you uh, engineered making me give all my fucking savings to my mother so that you could, inc well, you forced me into it. You forced me to give my all my money, my complete life savings to Susan Margaret Alice Shaw Burroughs. I was coerced into it. I was coerced illegally. What you are is what? What did you do? You forced me to do it. You coerced me because of all the fucking horror of putting me in the fucking psych ward and I got nowhere to live. I've been living at 2621 Park Row for 10 fucking years and then all of a sudden my permanent home has withdrawn overnight and I'd already agreed to move out. I had already agreed to move out and I just, uh, I'm under constant demonic attack and I simply have to get an apartment. It's a very, uh, well, it's been months. I've been, it was July, August, September, October, November, December, and we're into January. And I've been under so much demonic attack that it's impossible for me to get myself an apartment. It's impossible. I don't have a car. Uh, I never have any free time. I mean, it's just uh, constantly. When are you going to help me out? I already asked you people. What I need is an apartment. I need you to set up an apartment. I sent you a video. Didn't you watch the video where I said, what I really need is you people to set me up with an apartment where I can go and have it set up to come directly out of my bank account or something or somebody to just donate a basement apartment for me. My God, Susan and David Burroughs are millionaires and they give me fuck all. If I was an Italian family in Thunder Bay, you know, seriously, when you're 23 years old and you get married and you're an Italian in Thunder Bay, your family buys you a house. Don't they? My parents are so fucking loaded. Why don't they dish out money? Other families, when, you know, the people, get, they don't need all that money. Guess who needs the money now? I don't know, the poor son that's like, seriously, I've been working as a personal support worker for $19 an hour. It's not, enough to, it's not enough to live on, but that's what I do. Everybody, it's an essential service, what I do, or what I did until I was a demonically attacked 
for being what? For being a light worker, for telling the truth and calling for the end of the 1% who are the tyrannical fuckfaces that are running this fucking scam demic and I've been telling you since the beginning. And I'll give you evidence after evidence after evidence after evidence and you're a fuckface because you have to stay with your fucking alcoholic Malin family. I've told you 500 million times. You're an alcoholic and you need to be like Fred Baker and you need to go and dry out. Okay, so we got Fred Baker came in as a Komodo dragon. And then the day he died, he calibrated over 200, over 300, over 400, 500, 600. At 600, that's technically the level of sainthood. You can raise your consciousness, Kathy Burroughs Mallon, and Fred Baker showed you. He was a raging fucking evil fucking alcoholic. And his wife sent him to Omaha to a treatment program. And he went there and he came back and he became involved with the Roman Catholic Church. And he turned out to be the most wonderful man. Anybody who's at 600, guess who else is at 600? Me! And if I'm swearing and cursing at you, well, it's because you're the fucking devil. You're way the fuck under 200. If you don't want to know, you don't want to learn the scale of human consciousness, then why the fuck are you bothering me? And then my money situation is I'm coerced. I'm kicked out of the house. I'm on the fucking street. I don't have a car. And you and your sister are all in bed with my mom and dad. I'd lived there for 10 fucking years. And I told you about all the fucking horrible, horrible that was going on with me. What about Hillary Clinton? Go look up the Clinton body count. I've been talking about that today. What's the Clinton body count? The number of dead people that are associated with the Clintons. Ron Brown is a really good one. You go Google Ron Brown. Ron Brown was a cabinet minister for Bill Clinton. And he died under very mysterious circumstances. And people say it was the Clintons that did it. You look at the Clinton body count, there's an enormous number of people. Everybody knows that they're so fucking corrupt. In the, they call it the swamp in Washington, D.C. They want to get rid of those permanent politicians because they're evil. They do nothing but create wars and mayhem. Mayhem, mayhem, because they want more and more money to go to the military industrial complex and their own pocketbooks. You know the number of corruption scandals that have come through, don't you? Don't you watch the news or not? I can never figure it out, but it's not. If you are denying the amount of corruption that goes on in government, and I told you pharma, uh, Pfizer Pharmaceuticals was fined $2.3 billion for being a criminal. They're a convicted felon. They are $2.3 billion. What other companies could afford to continue to operate after they were fined $2.3 billion for being criminal? What does it take to wake you up? You take the word of a convicted criminal, Pfizer Pharmaceuticals, over your goddamn brother. They're a convicted criminal. They keep telling you the scam decamamic is real. And it was first about the three weeks to flatten the curve. And now it's three fucking years. I watched the Toronto Maple Leafs and there's nobody in the stands. But then I turn it to, to Seattle and Seattle plays Vancouver and the stands are full of people. How could that possibly be? Because it's a fucking scam. One jab should have worked. Two jabs, no. They're on the third fucking jab for all people. It don't fucking work. It's a pack of lies. But companies like Pfizer get money every time you go and get a jab. You live in fear. That's what it is under 200. Fear drives you. I know I studied all this stuff. What have you studied? Huh? The last time you were there, well, where's those Catholic teachings? From when you got married? What happened? You threw them all away. You never do anything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So here I am where I have forced to give all my money to Susan and you. Because it's to both of you, isn't it? Yeah, because the Royal Bank account now says Kathy Mallon and Susan Burroughs, doesn't it? I don't know. What does it say here? What does it say here? Well, it actually just says Susan. So, but anyways, I don't know. Do you have access or not? Originally, you were all setting it up. So now all my money is in my mother's name. Because you're planning on me running out of money and then going on welfare. Well, for Christ's sake, thanks a lot. That's a hand up, isn't it? Kick you out because what? Because you're all devils and you continue to watch Lester Holt. Lester Holt, what does he calibrate at? On the scale of human consciousness, Lester Holt calibrates over 200, 190, under 200, just like you. He's a devil. He's a pack of fucking lies and that's what muscle testing tests. And seriously, chiropractors use it to test to see if you got an allergy. So it's not bullshit. I never invented it. 
I'm using it and I use it well. So if you're going to give me all this bullshit that you don't like when I'm swearing at you, you sound like Beelzebub Dave, your father. Because you don't want to be authentic and talk about the real fucking problems going on in the planet. You want to go and just be a fuckface. So you can stay, because you're, you're well insulated with your money and your, your alcoholic friends. So you don't want to change. But I'm going to give you it again. Where you calibrate on the scale of human consciousness, a Roman Catholic priest, if they knew this stuff, they would go, oh my God, your soul is in mortal danger. Who's your priest? Who is your priest, Kathy? Because what I would love to do is educate your priest on how to do muscle testing. Because it would really help your priest out. Because he could go and when somebody comes to confession, he could do a quick muscle test to see if the person, where the person is on the scale of human consciousness because their counseling changes depending upon where they are on the scale. It would be a great thing for a Roman Catholic priest to learn muscle testings in the scale of human consciousness. Shut the door. So... Me uh, setting a boundary, it's just when you raise consciousness, when people like you come around with your fucking lies and all your plotting and all your bullshitting, it just happens automatically. It hap it's channeled in from higher consciousness. Higher consciousness is calling you all these names because it's true. I don't know. When you were going to Catholic school, you were telling me about that because you knew I was a spiritual person. Way back when you got married, I was doing spiritual work on myself and others. I was doing Reiki, remember? That's spiritual energy, Kathy. I'm the Reiki person, not you, you stupid bitch. You take credit for everything, you stupid fucking bitch. Credit for what? I don't know. What exactly have you done with your life? Well, I raised a family. What else? How have you educated yourself? What have you done to personally educate yourself? Since Catholic school, when you got married, what was that? 18 years ago? You haven't done anything spiritually in 18 fucking years? Nope. But you got time to go on vast trips to Toronto or down into Minnesota or whatever on this ridiculous idea that your two daughters are somehow going to make the NHL and make it all worthwhile. Your husband should have adopted a boy. Your husband should have adopted a boy and because then he could have had what he really wants. What he really wants is a kid to go to the NHL because he's a puck fuck. Those girls are never going to make the NHL. So all of this shit is all a big fucking waste of time and a big fucking waste of money. You're insane. You're insane to put all of this fucking energy into the girls hockey. You're insane. And what does it make you? It means you don't do enough exercise because you're constantly driving them around, driving them here, there, and everywhere every weekend. You what? What, what, what? Well, I don't know. You look pretty porky and you have for a long time. And so does your sister. Your sister is insane. She divorced Michael. She hasn't even divorced Michael. How many years has it been that she's been separated from Mike Biggs? She's practically, well, she's practically married to Hector Dougal now, and she still hasn't finished the fucking divorce. What fucking reason? She can't get her fucking, she can't, she can't get her paperwork together. She should just call Mike and say, fuck it. I can't get the paper together. Uh, my new boyfriend is the richest guy in Thunder Bay, a Dougal. I was like, fuck, let's just cut ties. I mean, he was going to do it. Mike was going to do it without the lawyers because it's all available on the internet, but you're all insane. You're insane, old man. I was there at the lawyer's downtown across from City Hall and went down there with Barb and Dad. And for the first 25 minutes, Dad lectured the lawyer. The clock was ticking. The clock was ticking. It was expensive the whole time. And, and that motherfucker, he wasted his own fucking money lecturing the lawyer on what the law should be. He's such a moron, he thinks that a lawyer that he hires can change the laws of Canada. Because that's what he did for 25 minutes. This is the way it should be. This is the way it should be. He's an insane fuckface. The law of Canada is the law of Canada. You don't go to a lawyer and then tell the lawyer, go change the fucking law. But that's what your father did. Your father is an insane old dementia person. What does Dave calibrate? On the scale of human, human consciousness, Dave Burroughs, my father, calibrates over 200. 190. That's the, way, that's the level of Lucifer. Lucifer. Lucifer the devil. 
That's why I call him Beelzebub, the devil, because he is your mother. Susan Burroughs, we have permission to calibrate her. Yep, she calibrates over 200, under 200. What? 180. You got to figure it out, Kathy Burroughs Mallon. You got huge problems. And I already told Dave. I said, Dave, you need to stop eating meat because I came right down, right down from where he wants to go in heaven at the heavenly pearly gates. They said, Dave Burroughs, you are not coming into heaven because you're what? You're eating meat. That was what I gave him. But there's all these other things. He's Scrooge. I mean, he watches Scrooge every fucking Christmas. He's sitting on a big fucking wad. He'll never spend it in his lifetime. Why is he hanging on to this fucking money? He's 85 fucking years old. Most people that age are already dead. What does he need all this fucking money? Why doesn't he just pass it on down the line? Because he's fucking Scrooge. He is. He's a fucking animal. Anyways, I'm not expecting a cent from those two people because they're devils. And, you know, why, why would I? I don't want anything to do with you people. But you have karmically involved yourself in my life by forcing me through all of this fucking horrible shit that you've done to give all my money in charge of your mother with your supervision because you called me about it. I told Susan, she said, about my MasterCard bill, because I got these bills for the hotels that got to be paid. And then she asked me something, I said, well, I got to think about it. It's my fucking money. It's my fucking me. And then what does she do? She takes it upon herself, without consulting me, to somehow go and de-link my MasterCard from my Royal Bank account. How the fuck does the Royal Bank do that? She's not me. How can she go in and say, de-link this on behalf of my son? She doesn't even have, have written authority. Your mother is a fucking piece of work. She's a criminal. That's criminal what she's doing. She's playing with my fucking money. And you did it. You coerced me into it by putting me in the psych ward, bringing me back, and then kicking me out of the house. And all this time, you see me herky-jerky under demonic attack. I've given you so much information on this video. And in the end, you're probably not going to watch it because it's just not important to you.